You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host, and we have a special edition of Greater Brockton. We're focusing on the candidates for Brockton City Council, Council at Large, Mayor, School Committee. Uh, we have back in the studio um, Reverend Marlon Green, Ward 3 candidate for City Council. Welcome. Reverend Thank you, Green. Mark. How are you? Nice I'm to see you. I'm doing great. How are you doing? I'm doing great. It's All nice right. to see you back. Uh, two years ago, you were sitting in the chair I was. opposite of me, and you decided to give it a go again. Absolutely. What's Absolutely. the number one reason you're back? Well, uh, Mark, uh, Brockton is home for me and my family, and I intend for it to be home for quite some time. And I think it's incumbent upon all of us to make sure that where we live and where we call home is a safe, healthy, growing, and progressive place. And so that is my motivation for uh, running for council. Now, um you were a challenger the last time. I you was, were a challenger yes. again. You now have another challenger in the race. So there's three of you in this race yes, this yes, time. Yes. What do you have that you can offer that's different from either the incumbent counselor or the other challenger? I don't know if you know the background of the other. I always don't say the other name. You can choose to or not, but uh, there were three of you. What makes you a better candidate than the two people that are also in the race? Well. Mark, I can tell you, um, and I can tell the, um, the other voters of Brockton, um, that uh, I come from a background of uh, collaboration. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I served over uh, 20 years, uh, still serving in, uh, in church ministry. Um, and uh, my role is to collaborate with um, uh, communities, pastors, leaders, um, all across southern New England. Uh, we have a network of about 160 churches in our uh, denomination in those three states. And so I have a unique um, skill set in organizing uh, and pulling together different talents, different individuals, and to rally around a common cause um, and for um, things to be accomplished to serve the greater good of the community. Um, in addition to that, I do have a uh, professional background in research management, uh, clinical research, that is. Uh, and so I'm quite acute to uh, doing due uh, diligence um, in uh, the uh, work that is important um, and that affects uh, many individuals uh, and families as well. And I think that's a unique skill um, that is needed for the other council. Uh, the ability to carefully uh, research and look into, into issues and get the facts um, so that the decision-making process is a well-informed one um, that will be uh, beneficial not just in the short run but in the long run for the community at large. Now, over in Wood 6, West Chestnut Street right now is a big issue. Yes. There's a proposed development yes. that is uh, there's a there's a Bridgewater equation to it mm -hmm. where most of the housing would be in the town of West Bridgewater yes. and some of the housing very small amount would be in Brockton looks like the road going in seems to be in place before any of the decisions are made what's your position on something like that if you, you've probably been out talking to the residents uh, campaigning to you know get them to put up a sign or support you or whatever what are you hearing so I'm hearing several concerns from the uh, residents in that area concerning the um, development of that um, housing uh, division. Uh, and one is the uh, increased uh, traffic mm -hmm. um, that uh, uh, we will see in Brockton. Um, is that will be the only entrance in Brockton to that housing uh, division in West Bridgewater. Um, there are also concerns about the burden that that could potentially put on um, our uh, fire department and police and force as well, um, and, and how that will kind of um, play out between Brockton and, um, and Bridgewater. Um, you know, and I'm hearing from a lot of the other residents who you know, have been around for quite some time whether or not they want to stick around. Um, stay in their homes and, um, and kind of, you know, have to, have to endure um, such um, an endeavor uh, imposed um, upon them. Um, I clearly, uh, you know, am in opposition to that uh, plan as um, proposed. Um, 
the, uh, the entrance in Brockton to the housing complex is not the only option um, for the um, developer. There are other options um, on the uh, Bridgewater side as well. Um, and it, it, uh, you know, um, I guess from a business um, perspective, uh, putting it through our uh, city is the uh, most or the least expensive way to go on the side of the uh, developer. But that certainly imposed um, a, a burden on Brockton. And from what I'm seeing um, in the uh, proposed uh, plan, Brockton will not be uh, properly compensated for such an arrangement. And so again, I, I, I'm, I'm, um, I'm in opposition um, to that and certainly stand with the other residents in that area against the uh, proposed development. Other issues that you're bringing to the table in this race, what, what do you see as other issues uh, for a city council, a ward city council specifically? So um, I think education is a major uh, issue for us and I think uh, it is uh, it's important that as a city if we're going to grow if you're going to become a more vibrant and progressive city it is important that educating our children educating our students uh, must be our number one priority and that plays into the long-term future of the other city. It will affect the quality of the workforce that we have in Brockton. It will affect um, the income potential, and it will certainly affect the other tax base um, that we have in the city of Brockton. And so ensuring that we have quality uh, education, uh, we have equal access to it, um, education for all our students across the the other city is is important and so ensuring that there is a proper funding in place um, to fund our schools and to make sure that our students are going to a facility that is in state of the art um, and having access to all the uh, technology and uh, educational materials um, is is important so um, that's a top um, priority of mine um, another uh, top um, priority is uh, public um, safety. Mm -hmm. uh, Mark, I've, I've, I've walked around the city um, around uh, Ward 3. I've knocked on uh, many doors. And um, that is a uh, major concern for a lot of our uh, residents in Brockton. Uh, many uh, moms and dads are concerned about the safety of their kids and whether um, they can uh, be out in their yard playing or if it's okay to walk down the street. Um, you know, I met a few um, homeowners who have been in their home for over 30, 40, 57 years. Mm -hmm. uh, and now they're um, faced with uh, possibly uh, deciding to leave the city because of the safety concerns. And, and so ensuring that we have adequate staffing, uh, we have an effective uh, community uh, police program and partnerships across the other city among um, different agencies um, is, uh, is certainly a priority of mine to ensuring that um, public safety is adequately addressed. I want to make sure we have enough time sure. so we can give you a summary. So I'm just looking for a time cue. I got five. Okay. So at um, it, 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 this point in time, um, why a change? Okay. You have an incumbent, years of experience. I'm sure that's what I'm going to hear when I have him on TV. Yes, sir. Why make the change? You, you, you started articulating that two years ago, and you're back. Yes. So tell me, tell us why. Why make the change? Yeah. Well, I believe that fundamentally in our uh, uh, country, um, having a choice in this uh, democracy is vital um, to the strength of the uh, democracy. Um, I believe that our uh, voters should always have a voice and should always have a choice. Mm -hmm. um, and I represent that. I represent a choice. Ward 3 is a huge ward. Mm -hmm. uh, we have you know, over 30, over 3,000 registered voters in Ward 3. The, the turnout, um, as, as we know across the city, is quite low. And this is, um, sure. this is an off-year election. So there are many residents in Ward 3 and the city at, at large as well who are not engaged in this democratic process. 
And so I represent a change for them. And what I will do differently than previous campaigns and differently from the incumbent is uh, connect with those who are disengaged from the democratic process. Get them involved and let them know that they have a choice in this election. Okay, and now you get a chance to get the two minutes and leave me a few seconds at the end sure. to articulate directly to the voters to elect you. Okay. Hello, uh, my name is Reverend Marlon Green. I'm a resident of Brockton. I love Brockton. My home is here. My family is here. I have two boys in the Brockton Public School and we're so proud of this city. I ask you during this uh, campaign season to consider giving me a chance to represent your voice and your interests in the city of Brockton and in Ward 3. I am a person of integrity. I believe in inclusion. I believe in fairness. And I believe in transparency. Politics, elected office, is about representation. I will have your ear. You will listen and I will listen and together we will make Brockton, we will make Ward 3 a stronger community for you, for your family and for mine as well. Again I ask you for the opportunity to serve you as your city councilor in Ward 3. Thank you Reverend. Thank you. It's a pleasure to have you. Pleasure. And I know real quick, I think I have, what do I have, a minute? Two? Give me that. Two. Okay. Phone number and website. I meant to ask you that in the question. Absolutely. Right. Sure. Yeah. So I can be reached at 617-794-4394. And that is my personal cell. I will take your call because I am concerned about your issues. And I do want to hear from you. Again, 617-794-4394. I'm also on Facebook, Marlon Green for Brockton Ward 3. Okay. Perfect. And Thank we'll you. have you back. Hopefully we can get all of you together for a debate. I would love that. Thanks for being on. Thank you much. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more candidates, election coverage on Brockton Community Access, channels 9 and 12. Important races. Make sure you register to vote and then you get out to vote. Thanks for joining us.